one of the big unspoken stories in New South Wales politics, in fact in Australian politics, the way the Catholic Church structures itself to avoid having to pay fair compensation to victims of abuse. There was a 1936 Act of the New South Wales Parliament passed, which effectively allows the church to put all of its real property and all of its assets into trusts. I mean, everyone knows the Roman Catholic Church exists. Everyone knows that. Uh, but the law denies that there's a separate entity called the Catholic Church that you can sue. The fact that the church has avoided its responsibility for literally decades, the fact that there's now mounting evidence that a number of senior people in the church not only knew that abuse was occurring, but took actions such as moving priests around once it became politically inconvenient in a parish for them to remain there and exposed yet further people um, to these abusers. The fact that this kind of behaviour was happening in the church um, shows that hiding it is going to do long-term damage to the church. The only way church can overcome this is to basically have an open book on it, um, accept their history, justly compensate for what happened, and in accepting the history, uh, also change its practices, open itself up to the 21st century and uh, have modern management structures, modern accountability structures, which will stop it happening in the future.